Welcome to NextGen Tesla. Tesla has just wrapped up the third quarter of 2025 with figures that have stunned the global automotive industry. Producing 447,450 vehicles and delivering 497,099 units worldwide. Setting another record that further establishes its dominance in the EV world. Yet this impressive milestone, as remarkable as it may seem, is only the beginning of something much larger. The stage is now being set for 2026, when the long-awaited Tesla Model 2 is expected to arrive, a car that could completely disrupt the global EV landscape. It's not just about numbers or another new model. It's about redefining what a small, affordable, electric car can achieve. With a combination of cost efficiency, advanced driver-focused technologies, and smart engineering that transcends its price point, the Model 2 could be the vehicle that finally shifts the balance away from China's EV dominance. Many have been asking what lies under the skin of this seemingly modest car that allows it to deliver such exceptional performance, including instant throttle response, confident hill climbs, and lower energy use without compromise. As Westec explores this innovation layer by layer, the secrets behind its superior performance begin to emerge. At the heart of its strong and responsive drive lies a motor system carefully designed for maximum. Torque per kilowatt with minimal energy loss. Tesla's engineers didn't treat each component in isolation, but instead designed an integrated system where every part complements the others. The interior permanent magnet IPM rotor uses ferret assistance, along with flux barriers that are precisely shaped to merge magnetic torque and reluctance torque efficiently directing the magnetic flux along shorter paths that minimize iron loss, particularly as speed increases. Paired with this rotor is a stator made from extremely thin electrical steel laminations. Just 0.27 millimeters thick, coated to reduce energy loss even further. Because eddy current loss increases with the square of the lamination thickness, reducing it from 0.35 to 0.27 millimeters, and lower that loss by around 40% under similar conditions. Tesla then enhances this by using direct and cooling through oil, jets or slot channels that raise the allowable current density, enabling the motor to sustain higher continuous torque without overheating. Depending on the design, this improvement can boost torque by 10 to 30%. All these refinements work together to give the model to an immediate. Sharp throttle response at low speeds consistent pulling power in the mid-range, and greater energy conversion efficiency during cruising. The car's dynamic behavior doesn't stop there. Tesla's system's thinking extends to the braking mechanism, achieving both better efficiency and a more natural feel through a brake-by-wire setup. This system senses the driver's pedal input and commands the motor to provide as much regenerative braking as conditions allow, resorting to friction brakes only when necessary. In most urban driving, Regenerative braking handles between 70 and 90% of deceleration, recovering substantial amounts of energy that would otherwise be lost. To illustrate this, a 1.610-ton vehicle traveling at 50 km per hour holds around 154 kilojoules of kinetic energy, equivalent to about 0.043 kilowatts. If 70% of that energy is recovered, approximately 0.03 kilowatts are returned to the battery. Over many stops and starts, this adds up, lowering watt-hours per kilometer and improving range noticeably. With regeneration doing most of the work, the friction brake system can be lighter without compromising safety, trimming one to three kilograms of unsprung weight at each corner. This reduction in rotating mass decreases wheel inertia, enabling the suspension to track road surfaces more accurately and the steering to feel more responsive. This mechanical advantage directly supports the motor's high torque per kilowatt design, ensuring more of the motor's effort translates to real wheel acceleration rather than overcoming unnecessary inertia. When propulsion and braking operate as a cohesive system, the result is a vehicle that responds predictably and maintains balance through all driving phases. The Tesla Model 2's acceleration from a standstill to 50 km per hour feels sharp and effortless. And even when tackling uphill gradients, it sustains power because its iron losses remain low and winding temperatures stable. With fewer kilowatts required to achieve the same torque, efficiency rises significantly in real-world conditions. 
Each time the car decelerates, it feeds more energy back to the battery, cutting consumption and extending range. This efficiency allows Tesla to meet range goals with smaller, lighter battery packs, further enhancing agility. The reduction of thermal stress in both motor and brakes keeps performance consistent, even under repeated acceleration and braking. Preserving pad life and maintaining smooth pedal feel, low torque ripple achieved by the refined electromagnetic layout and thin laminations gives the front end of the car remarkable stability, especially during lane changes or quick merges, giving the driver a sense of control that's instantly reassuring. Building on this, Tesla's choice of inverter technology provides another key advantage over many Chinese competitors. Instead of using traditional IGBT modules, the Model 2 employs a silicon carbide-based inverter that delivers higher switching frequencies, improved power density, and reduced energy loss. This modern semiconductor choice allows tighter packaging of power modules with shorter DC links, reducing both inductance and resistance while ensuring precise field-oriented control with accurate dead time compensation. These features make the Model 2 more efficient, lighter, smoother to drive, and cheaper to own over time. The reason it goes farther is straightforward. Higher switching frequency smooths the phase currents, reducing current ripple and minimizing both iron and copper losses in the motor. Silicon carbide also generates far less switching loss at comparable voltage levels, meaning less heat and better overall conversion efficiency. In real-world use, this translates to an inverter efficiency improvement of 1.5 to 3.5 percentage points. And the overall drivetrain can gain a few more points due to cleaner current flow, particularly in urban stop and go driving. These enhancements can lower energy consumption by 3 to 8 percent depending on conditions. That means the same battery delivers more energy to the wheels, extending range, or alternatively, allowing Tesla to achieve the same range with a smaller, cheaper pack. Another benefit is weight reduction. Lower losses generate less heat, which allows smaller radiators, pumps, and heat sinks. The ability to switch at higher frequencies enables downsized inductors and capacitors, shrinking the inverter's physical size. Compact. Integrated half-bridge modules shorten the DC path and make it possible to mount the inverter close to the motor, further saving mass around 4 to 10 kilograms in small to mid-size vehicles Less weight not only improves energy efficiency, but also sharpens handling. As for driving feel, the reduced phase current ripple ensures smoother torque delivery, giving the throttle a refined natural response. The minimized stray inductance reduces voltage overshoot and electromagnetic noise, eliminating the high-pitched electrical hum some EVS emit. Advanced field-oriented control keeps the torque vector aligned precisely avoiding oscillations and ensuring seamless transitions between acceleration and regenerative braking. Drivers experience linear response and stable steering, bothered by torque fluctuations. The Model 2's total cost of ownership benefits from all these decisions. Every percentage of efficiency gain cuts energy costs. For instance, in a car that consumes around 15 kilowatts per 100 kilometers, even a 5% improvement saves 0.75 kilowatts per 100 kilometers, adding up to about 750 kilowatts over 100,000 kilometers of meaningful financial saving. The compact inverter and simplified cooling loop also reduce material use, weight, and complexity, translating to fewer maintenance requirements. Lower thermal stress on electronic components improves their lifespan, minimizing failure risk. And since improved efficiency enables a smaller battery without compromising range, savings multiply throughout the design. In essence, the Tesla Model 2 achieves longer range, smoother driving behavior, lighter construction, and lower ownership costs because its power electronics waste less energy and require fewer supporting systems. This all flows directly from Tesla's strategic use of silicon carbide over older IGBT designs representing a decisive edge over most competitors still, relying on outdated components, beyond its motor and inverter advantages. One of the most revolutionary aspects of the Tesla Model 2 lies in how it handles its battery system. Rather than locking the vehicle to a single chemistry, Tesla designed the Model 2's battery architecture around a cell-agnostic philosophy. 
This approach gives engineers the freedom to use different cell chemistries within the same standardized pack design, eliminating the need for complete redesigns whenever material prices or supply conditions change. It's a brilliant manufacturing strategy that maximizes flexibility and reduces costs across global markets. Tesla can easily switch between lithium iron phosphate LFP, lithium manganese serine phosphate LMFP, nickel manganese cobalt NMC, and even sodium ion cells, depending on regional requirements or cost advantages. Each chemistry serves a different purpose. FP is durable and affordable. LMFP improves energy density without major cost jumps. NMC supports long-range performance. And Sodium Man offers extremely low cost for city-oriented versions. Every day.